Hi, welcome to this Max Moment. Now today I want to share with you a story that's had a huge impact on me when I read it. And it's a simple story about a glass of water. So the story goes like this. There was a psychologist who walked around a room one day while teaching a stress management class to their students. And as she was doing this, she was holding this glass of water. And as you can imagine, everyone expected that they'd be asked the normal question, right? Is the glass half empty or is it half full? And then that would begin a debate about how the perception of the glass is always dependent upon your attitude and the person that's looking at it. So all the pessimists in the room, they're gonna say that the glass is half empty. All the optimists in the room, they're gonna say that the glass is half full. All the grateful people in the room, they're just gonna be thankful that there is a glass and that there's something inside it. And all the giving people and all the kind people in the room, they're gonna see the glass of water and they're gonna start looking around for somebody who might be thirsty. But instead, on that day, with a smile on her face, the teacher inquired to the class this. She asked them, how heavy is this glass of water? Now answers blurted out from eight ounces all the way up to 20 ounces and everything in between. But what the teacher replied was this, and it changed my life forever. She said, the absolute weight of the glass doesn't matter. It depends how long you hold it for. So if you hold the glass for a minute, it's not a problem. If you hold the glass for an hour, you can have an ache in your arm. But if you hold the glass for an entire day, your arm's gonna feel numb and paralyzed. And in each case, the weight of the glass doesn't change, but the longer you hold it, the heavier it becomes. And so she continued on, she said, the stresses and worries found in life are like that glass of water. If you think about them for a little while, nothing happens. If you think about them a little longer, they begin to hurt. And if you think about them all day long, you're gonna feel paralyzed and incapable of doing anything. So for me, the message that day was clear. It was plain and simple. Put the glass down. Now, as a coach working with high-performance individuals and teams, I see this play out every day as people struggle with being able to let go of the past mistakes that they have or the past failures. And holding onto the glass for longer than needed creates a, a stacking of negative emotions causing added pressure and an inability to take consistent and intentional action toward their desired result. And so to help these people, and to help them put their glass down, I encourage them to, to focus on three P's. Now I call them the present positive process. So number one, focus on the present. You've got to put down the glass that is full of all of your past failures and all of your fears and all of the future fears because once you put that glass down, then you can begin to get laser focused and invest your time and energy into the one block of time that you have total control over. And that's the present moment. Number two, focus on the positive. You've got to start by putting down your glass that is full of all the negative thoughts about all the things that are holding you back and all the things that you're trying to avoid in your life. And once you do, and you put that glass down, then you can focus on all the positive things that you want to attract into your life and all the things that you want to create in your life. And thirdly, you've got to focus on the process. You've got to put down that glass that is full of all these self-imposed destinations and outcomes that you believe you must achieve in order to feel significant or enough or to feel successful. And once you do, and once you put that glass down, then you can focus in on what's most important, which is the journey, and commit fully to the process of growing daily to reach your maximum potential. So my question is simple for you today, and it is this, what glass are you still holding onto that you need to put down in your life? And whatever it is, remember this, if you wanna succeed in life, your past does not equal your future. So go ahead and make a life-altering decision today and decide to put down the glass that has been holding you back from living the very best life that you can live. And as you do that, choose to make today a great day and always choose to live life to the max. And I'll see you next time.